Hey everyone and welcome to the fourth Java CV tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the color filtering in an image. Okay, now uh, let's create a new project Java CV 4. Next, build path, libraries, external jar files, open or export select all and click on finish. Now, here, new class Java CV 4. Come to the main part. Okay, in here, first of all, I'll just create image variables. IPL image, IMG1, IMG HSV for uh, HSV image, comma, IMG bin for storing the binary image. Next, uh, and after creating the image variables, I'll just need to load the image color image for the image one. So IMG1 equals CV load image color dot JPEG. Uh, IMG HSV equals CV create image. CV get size of IMG1, comma 8, comma 3, that is 8 bit, 3 channel image. Then IMG bin equals CV create image. The same thing, CV get size of IMG1 and uh, 8 bit 1 channel image. Okay, after creating these variables, I just need to uh, okay, come to the main part. Mm, we can just filter out, you know, we can just do the color filtering in the RGB color channel itself. But uh, you know, converting the color channel into HSV format and then filtering the, uh, then performing the color filtering is much easier than the RGB filtering itself. So I'll just convert the RGB image into HSV image and then do the color filtering operations. So for converting the color into, you know, for converting the RGB channel into HSV, CV CVT color IMG one comma IMG HSV comma CV BGR two HSV. Okay. Now for you know filtering operations as uh, open cv has a special function called cv in ranges okay this function accepts four arguments uh, first argument is the source the next argument is the minimum scalar quantity third one is the maximum scalar quantity and fourth one is the destination image so what does this uh, cv in range function does is the first element is treated as two dimensional arrays and the elements of that is compared with the minimum and maximum range specified in the min c and max c variables. So I'll just define the min c and max, max c as scalar quantities. Cv scalar min c equals cv scalar of uh, you know 95, 150, and max c. Okay, here it is. Uh, these in inside the sc cv scalar the first three elements are hsv values and the third one is the i mean the last one is the alpha value we are not going to consider that one so the img hsv the color uh, channels in the img hsv are compared with the element for, uh, you know compared with the 95 to 155 uh, 145 elements so if those if the color channels of the img hsv are in between 95 to 145 then those pixels are treated as one in the destination image that is img bin all the other channels, all the other uh, elements inside the IMG HSV are treated as zeros and will be assigned as zeros in the IMG bin. So that's how the CV in range, CV in ranges uh, function operates. It's going to assign all the elements within the, you know, specified minimum and maximum uh, scalar quantities as one and all the other elements as zeros in the destination image. So once we have got the filtered image, we need to show those images, CV show image, Show image, uh, just first show the color image that is color. I'll just name the window as color and IMG1. Next one is the CV show image binary, the filtered image. Okay, next CV weight key. After that, CV release image, IMG1, CV release image, IMG HSV, and CV release image, IMG bin. Okay, now let's save the program. Uh, I'll just copy the color.jpg into the projects folder. Space Java CV4, paste. Okay, now is file. Run the program. Okay, here it is the color image and the filtered image. As you can see, I have specified the elements 
you know in the minimum and maximum scalar quantities uh, for the blue color channel so that means only those color pixels are treated as one and except uh, you know except that those pixels every other uh, pixels are treated as zero in the final destination image that is a binary image so it's what you can just change these uh, you know uh, minimum and maximum values to any color you want i'll just change it to a red color channel now 160 180 and run the program so as you can see here it is only the reddish color colors are visible in the destination output in the output all the others are you know treated as zeros next one i'll just do it for the green color channel okay I run the program okay here it is the green channel color channel is visible on the output all the other are you know considered as one i mean zeros so you can also just uh, you know change the values of the saturation and values in that uh, you know you can see the difference between the last output and this output you can just uh, change the different values for uh, to get the different colors and color ranges just like that here it is for the yellowish color region okay this is about the you know still images that means the you know getting the image uh, loading the image from the file and then doing some color filtering operations what if you want to do some you know uh, color filtering operations for the webcam images that means the webcam video uh, live webcam video so I'll just alter the program itself a little bit uh, CV capture capture one equals CV create camera capture of CV cap any Okay, this will create uh, you know a camera capture variable and now for infinite while loop okay for before that uh, I'll just you know cut and paste these IMG HSV and IMG bin outside the loop here and I'll just modify a little bit in here CV size of I'll just define the resolution as 640 by 480 since my default webcams uh, resolution is six, uh, 640 by 480 okay infinite while loop now i int i equals one okay it's i equals one while i equals one i'll just going for the infinite while loop here and after that cv release image and release capture cv release capture capture one now this is a CV release image, IMG HSV and IMG bin. Okay, inside the while loop, I just need to change this. IMG one equals CV query image. I mean CV query frame of capture one. Okay, if IMG one equals null, then break the loop. And in here, CV weight key car C of you know car C equals car of CV weight key. Wait for 15 milliseconds and if C is equals Q that means if I press the Q in the keyboard I should break the loop okay now let's run the program okay one more one more, one more thing okay uh, wait I'll just change the color values to blue color channel okay, now let's run the program okay, here it is all the other colors except blue color is filtered off the, uh, in the output image. Okay, that's all about the image filtering. I mean the color filtering uh, program for this fourth Java CV tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Keep visiting my blog engineervisions.blogspot.in for more details and updates.